I joined the Royal Engineers in 1981, and in 1999 I thought I want my last mission now. And I found out there was a SAS unit in Manchester. So I transferred to that unit and everything was going great and I was 37 years old so I was a bit of an old timer really for the SAS. Anyway, doing great, three quarters of the way through the course, um, everything was going to plan. There were only eight of us left out of the 60, 67 that had joined and started. Unfortunately, on the 30th of October 1999, at 20.30 hours precisely, uh, we were on a night patrol, gale force winds, the weather was horrendous, and I was blown off the top of the mountain. Um, I fell 400 foot. And I was paralysed at the bottom of the mountain, and it airlifted me to Cardiff, where I found out that I'd broken my neck. My life was in turmoil then. Um, I went through a divorce. Uh, life wasn't good and I really was challenged. It was a dark period in my life. And, but for the grace of God go I, I just had this driving force to want to recover. And I created a strategy to help me get better. And, you know, what I found is that moving on through my life, I just thought that it's not right the way the veterans are treated. You know, they get injured and it's not just them. I remember my divorce, and that could have been averted, perhaps, if I'd have had the correct support. So I got the idea to found the charity Transformation for Veterans, which is all about not helping just the veteran. Of course, that's important, very important. It's all about the family as well. You know, the children, the parents, the husband or the wife, and that's what Transformation is about for veterans is about changing lives of the family unit, not just the veteran. We need support to help us build these 23 lodges and a transformation centre where families will come along for a week or two and not only will they come and have a great stay in a great location, in, in a real nice setting, they'll also get workshops where we help them overcome the, the challenges that they're getting and just help them to refocus on their lives and look at what they really want out of life instead of focusing on what they don't want. The vision was to give a site which is brilliant and where they can really focus. Now, <laughs> unlike when I joined, we were living in Nissan huts and they weren't great accommodation. We wanted them to feel really important when they come. So here, we've got 23 lodges. These are brilliant lodges, you know, Swedish style lodges. Um, 20 foot by 40 foot and three bedroomed en suite and all te technologically based, the latest in technological self-sustaining properties. Also we've got a transformation hub which is a main building in the centre where all the magic will happen. It's a hub where, where the, the guys can come along, have a great evening, entertainment, uh, really relax and be in a safe environment. In Liverpool the Royal Air Force uh, in 1977 uh, and did my training up at RAF Catrick uh, with the RAF regiment and I did uh, finish off my time in the uh, as a sergeant um, office manager and coordinator in the careers office along with the army the navy and then in 2003 I was fortunate enough to get a job in the engineering department with the Royal Fleet Auxiliary uh, and I was been there for the last 14 years or so uh, until uh, last year when I lost my job because of medical reasons. I really missed the job and uh, I had a bit of a rough time. Suffered quite a bit of depression. And my doctor, Doc, Dr. Kasim, mentioned Joe's name. Uh, so I came down to see Joe uh, with the Transfor Transformation for, uh, Veterans, did a bit of work for him in these offices uh, and he built my confidence, confidence up again. And uh, I'm very uh, proud to know Joe and uh, very uh, appreciative of his help. I joined up when I was 16 um, as a boy soldier straight from school. Uh, that's when I unfortunately got divorced and uh, everything just fell apart. So I left the army, um, had some really bad times um, and then woke up one morning and decided Civic Street wasn't for me. So I re-enlisted uh, and I joined the 2nd Battalion. Um, it was when I came out uh, the second time for good, uh, back in, uh, I think it was late 2012, beginning of 13. Um, I didn't have much. I was uh, basically 
on the bones. Great idea. Um, it's like you say, sanctuary. It's to get away, uh, not only for the individual concerned, um, i.e., Private Jones or Rifleman Jones. It's to do with the family as well, because um, obviously our problems do rub off on close immediate family, uh, and they go through bad times just as much as we do. So I think it's a, a wonderful, great idea. I really do. I find. Um well, just recently, in particular with myself, um, I joined up, went away, uh, lost all my uh, original friend, uh, friends, school friends, work friends, lost touch with them, made great mates within the uh, services, and basically when you finish, you come out, uh, all my other mates were all over the, all over the country in different bases, uh, RAF bases and so on and so forth, met good mates from the army and everything else, but once you find when you're out, you lose. You tend to lose contact with them unless you go on uh, and use the uh, likes of Facebook and, and, and Twitter and such like. But physical contact comes down to basically nil. You can't find anyone who's got a similar outlook on life or a similar background to you. So you tend to withdraw. Well, I did. In fact, tend to withdraw within yourself. But similar people, similar backgrounds, similar banter, and. Various other stories, you know, various stories they could come out with. Some of them are suffering PTSD, some of them are suffering de from depression or divorces and so on. Uh, but then again, you can open up with these people. You can talk to each other, you can get encouragement from each other and support from each other. Which is why I think Joe and this charity, uh, Transformation for Veterans, can bring a better outlook for these people, that both the men and women and their families as well. The reason I'm embarking on this crowdfunding campaign is because I know that there are a lot of people out there that care, and I know that you care as well. And, and you know, just by lots of people giving a little, or some people maybe giving a lot, we can achieve this so much quicker and really hit our target so much quicker. So we hit the ground running and then we can get the 23 lodges up rather than waiting a period of years, we could do it in a period of months. Here's the thing, I really believe that it's about a win-win situation. You know, it, right, I, I totally get it. If you're a phil philanthropist and you wanna just give, that's fantastic. We've also delivered uh, and created sponsorship packages where you can choose what you want in return. It might just be you want that good, a feel good feeling, or it might be with, that you want to go on a yacht in the Mediterranean, or a holiday stay in Florida, or actually you want your name on the lodge, or you want to be mentioned in our brochures on our websites. We've got a whole range of sponsorship packages that can help you get out of it what you want. And we're changing lives. We change lives every day. We get this off the ground because our families, our forces families, our guys, our men and women, really need somewhere to go uh, to uh, get themselves back online. With your help, we can change so many lives. Support is what we need. Support is what we want.